Hello, my name is Sarah. Welcome to episode 24. Today is Monday, April 11, and I'm coming to you from the Netherlands. wish to uh, be part of the worldwide knitting and crochet community um, uh, so uh, since a few episodes I guess since episode 20 I make uh, also an episode in English every week so one in Dutch and one in English inspired by Kia from Kia's Boat uh, podcast and um, uh, I never speak English in daily life. Uh, I all, only listen to English all the time, but I never have to speak it. Uh, and this is a very good practice to uh, become better uh, at speaking in, in, in speaking English. Um, so Dutch English it is in this podcast. Today, um, uh, I'm not going to show you my uh, whips, although not my whips I told you about last week. Um, I didn't have a lot of, uh, um, no, I do. I did have a lot of knitting time, but um, normally I have a very, very much knitting time and I only <laughs> had much knitting time. So I did make some progress to my striped sweater, to my socks and what was I working on? Um, I don't know anymore. But it was, it, it's not interesting to tell about that again. So I thought it was a good idea to uh, pick up all my uh, work in progress, all my whip blankets, because I love making blankets. And um, I have two crochet one, ones and two knitting, knitted ones, and um, uh, only the work in progress are the whips. Uh, so I uh, will show you, uh, will show day to you. No, them. <laughs> we'll show them to you today um, and uh, tell you all about uh, this lovely, lovely blankets. But first, what I wear. Uh, my braided and cabled ear warmers by Jessica Kalwai. I put um, all the links in the description box below. And, uh, oh, not uh, the link about this one because this is my own design. This is my Scrappy Spencer. And there is no link for the Scrappy Spencer. Uh, oh, I love my Scrappy Spencer. Last year I quit my job as a teacher uh, at a Waldorf school and um, I was trying, I, and I was thinking, uh, could I be a knitting designer? So I designed uh, my Scrappy Spencer and it made me very happy, but uh, only making one for me and uh, designing it and figuring out how to make this neckline and how to make the short version all. I made two for myself and then um, uh, the next step was um, uh, the sizing and the measurements for, for all the sizes and uh, I didn't like that. It was not my kind of thing. So I skipped the knitting designer um, wish <laughs> and um, uh, I'm very happy I did because uh, I'm very happy I did uh, try it because now I know I can make what I want to make and I can make adjustments to patterns to make the fit better my style. Uh, I told you all about in my first English episode, uh, number 20, about my Maya sweater. Um, I turned the Maya cardigan into a Maya sweater with a low neckline. So uh, it uh, was a good decision, good decision to try uh, uh, design knitting patterns. And it was also a good decision to stop trying design <laughs> knitting patterns. Very much respect for all the people who uh, do design knitting patterns uh, really um yeah respect for all of you okay um so there's no link uh, this is fingering weight sock yarn just stripes and the only thing i can say about this just try and um i'm not a very experienced knitter 
Oh, now also not a low experience knitter. I guess I'm a medium. <laughs> Sounds a bit boring. I'm a medium, but um, uh, uh, also when you have bit experience, you can uh, try. I knit. Uh, I I have to knit, and then I have to rip out and knit again and rip out again. But it's just part of the game and part of the process and I enjoyed it a lot and now I have a wonderful uh, scrappy Spencer which uh, I feel very very happy in. I have another one in uh, uh, one uh, color. No, the ribbing is uh, pink and I used a skein of sock yarn for the body in one color and um, yeah, it's, uh, it's perfect. So just give it a try. Um, okay, my blankets. Uh, let's see. Let's start with ah this one. I posted a picture on Instagram today. This is my northeasterly blanket in my lovely project bag from Vintage Fabric, a Dutch uh, project bag maker, a Dutch friend of me. Uh, uh, Ingrid van Leuk Gemaakt made uh, this project bag and I really love it. Uh, this is my northeasterly blanket and I love this too. Oh, you understand why when you see it. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it so much. Oh, <laughs> so much. All the colors and all the stripes. Okay, I will tell you all about it. Um, Northeasterly. It's a pattern by, I, I can't pronounce the name, Skeinian, Skeinanian, I don't know, I don't know, but it's on Ravelry and it's a, um, I, I guess, um, it's a famous pattern, do you say it's famous, a <laughs> pattern famous, I guess it is. Um, it's a, a, a kind of chevron blanket with, uh, with these chevrons and you knit, um, uh, a rows, small rows, uh, only a small part of uh, amount of stitches, and um, uh, in the middle you um, you make some increases and you make some decreases. Um, I, I can't explain how because that's in the pattern. Uh, and when you have knit the first uh, first row, the first stripe, you knit the second one and you knit it together as you go. And I love knit together as you go because I don't love sewing afterwards. Um, you can do it, I guess, because the blanket is growing and um, uh, it's much more fabric on your lap when you're knitting and when you prefer knitting only the small um, stripes, small, I don't know, you know what I mean, the small and, and you will put them together afterwards, I guess it's it's doable, you can do it, um, but I don't like it, uh, so I do it as I go, and that's perfect. I follow the pattern, yes, I, I do all, all. Uh, yes, I do. The pattern gives you instructions uh, for fingering weight or DK weight, um, and uh, I use the fingering weight, and this is my memory blanket. I put in all the scraps, I add all, all the scraps from socks and... Um, other fingering weight projects and i can tell you all about oh this is this are socks for my husband this is my advent calendar um let's see oh this is my marettimo it's an old one let's go to the recent edit parts these are my socks i told you about last week my spring socks these are the socks for my daughter um this was a Muscle bark head for my mother-in-law. This is my Sholography by Stephen West. And yeah, okay, it's, it's, oh, I love it. I see me as a, as an old lady, uh, um, when I'm, yeah, very old. I hope I will be healthy and get very old. And I, I'm sitting on my, on my chair and this blanket is all around me and I can tell all my grandchildren if I get tell the grandchildren all about oh these socks were for your granddad oh this was a lovely gift from someone oh these were for, for your uncle for your yeah <laughs> I don't know if it if it will be but but I, I it makes me the idea makes me very happy 
So we will knit on. Uh, what I do is um, uh, sometimes I just put the scraps uh, of the yarn in my project bag and once in a while I'll sit and knit. Um, but lately I add, um, yeah, when I uh, finish something, I directly add uh, the yarn. Uh, so I, I, it's completely... Um, uh, it completely follows my finished objects, I guess. Um, and I also finished the stripe, so there are no needles in it. Um, I um, think this will be a, a blanket for one person. Oh, a single blanket, that's the name. A single blanket, so I can put it on a, a single bed. Um, so the stripes are horizontal. Yes, I, I guess you say horizontal. Um, Sounds a bit weird, um, but um, I have to go, uh, I, it will grow. I have nine stripes now, so I, I, oh, it makes me very, very happy. I knit on DPNs when I started, excuse me for the noise. When I started, uh, I started on a, a circular, circular needle, but it wasn't uh, good, uh, it, it didn't work out for me. So I knit on DPNs. Uh, 2.5 and uh, it works perfectly and these are my best friends in the pattern uh, my stitch markers um, I knit almost uh, I, I guess eight rows without stitch markers and you have to do something special in the middle not not difficult but to uh, create the chevron um, and I do almost eight rows without stitch markers and uh, I always have to count and I make mistakes and I had to fix them and um, uh, then I had the genius idea why uh, why don't you use uh, stitch markers and uh, stitch markers makes my knitting life so much easier but it's not that I automatically automatically um, uh, think about them when a project seems to be uh, easy. So when it's very hard and you have also uh, stranded color work, when it's very, very hard patterns um, or, or lace work, then I, I always think about my stitch markers. But when it's easy, I don't. Uh, but it costs a lot of time because, um, yeah, I do make mistakes Although the work is easy. So I have a three millimeter uh, DPN for uh, the bind off. And I guess, oh, the, um, uh, I use the Weave and Steve in uh, for the yarn ends, for, for weaving in the yarn ends. So also uh, the yarn ends are weaven in as I go. So, I should I could use this blanket because it's totally ready now. It's only not uh, big enough, and um, no, it's waiting in this project bag for uh, for the next stripe, stripe number ten. And I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely pattern. It feels very, uh, very um, uh, yeah. The, the garter stitch. <laughs> I always. Her other people say it's so squishy. <laughs> ah, I think it is. Garden stitch feels lovely, and yeah, I can see me under this blanket forever. So, blanket number one. Next one. Let's see. Let's take a crochet one now. Put my notes on Ravelry. All my notes are on Ravelry. You can find links to the patterns and to the yarns and the needle size, I guess. Uh, this is in a big basket, in a big old thrifted ba basket. I can I? Yeah, there it is. Oh, all the colors. Um, I started this blanket recently, February 18th. Uh, Ravelry tells me. Um, it was not my plan to uh, begin a new uh, crochet blanket because I was making a Granny Square one. I have shown. Uh, that one a uh, few episodes ago, I guess. I will show uh, th uh, that one uh, right after uh, the last one. I will show it later. Um, but it was not my plan to make another granny, uh, another uh, crochet blanket. But um, I, I do work for Long Yarns, a uh, yarn company. And uh, I uh, take pictures from their yarns for the Dutch social media. And uh, once in a while, I receive... Uh, 
yarn packages because I have to take pictures of them. And um, uh, the mailman was on at my door and gave me a big box full of uh, full of skeins in all the colors. They were, I guess it were 30 colors, I, but, but when I opened it, I immediately immediately felt this has to be a blanket. And I immediately thought about Lucy from Attic 24. When I started uh, crochet uh, 12 years ago, I guess, 13 maybe, there was so, uh, le so there was almost no information. You can, uh, YouTube wasn't really... Um, no, yeah, it, it, was, it wasn't, uh, I guess YouTube, probably it does exist, it did exist already, but not for users, I guess. I'm not, uh, I did not, um, so, but Lucy from Attic24, um, not so detailed, Sarah. Lucy from Attic24, she had a blog with all the information about how to uh, crochet granny squares and granny stripes and all the other crochet blankets and when i saw these canes and all the colors i um i just want to crochet a lucy blanket an attic 24 blanket so i uh didn't follow her actually at the moment so i uh looked for her blog and a blog and she is still active um she uh organizes in february i don't know if it's uh, already over uh, a crochet along uh, the harbor blanket crochet along and I love that pattern I want to make stripes so I um, used her pattern for my crochet blanket and oh I love the colors and I love the pattern it's easy it's a repetitive pattern and uh, I love to crochet it I use a crochet needle number 3.5 millimeter I crochet always close crochet with clover needles i love uh, i love clover needles um and the yarn is yeah it's interesting it's uh it's long yarns atlantis and it's a new yarn but it's a mix uh, it's a wool acrylic mix and i actually don't like acrylic anymore when i started crochet i used acrylic i guess uh, many people in the netherlands um uh, did crochet with uh, acrylic uh, when they start and a lot of uh, still are, but I, um, uh, my love for wool is very, very big. So I, um, acrylic is so different from wool to me. I don't have to explain you, but um, uh, when I saw all the colors, yeah, I, uh, I'm just a yarn addict and all the colors made me, uh, there was a little voice in me says, sorry, you don't like acrylic. Do you have to knit a blanket of it? And I wasn't listening to that voice, but I only saw the colors and only all in me wants to make an Attic 24 blanket. So I put on, put on all the colors. Now, not all. I started with all, but there were a few colors I absolutely don't like. A very, very bright yellow and, and all the blues. Blue is not my color. It's not that I don't like blue, but there's so much blue. Uh, and some, yeah, there, there were stripes and I, oh, oh, the bright red was also in it. And uh, I lost completely my motivation um, when I added that colors in my blanket. So I ripped them out and I skipped them. Uh, I, I uh, put them out my yarn basket and I only uh, um, uh, chose the colors I love. Although I see there is still a lot of blue <laughs> in it. Um, but uh, I guess uh, this is very nice. I uh, checked the blog for uh, the website for, uh, for from Lucy and it's a free pattern and she explains it very, very well. And uh, what I th find very um, useful was she had a PDF uh, uh, pattern and she described how much uh, cha you have to chain for uh, um, uh, a swatch, how much you have to chain for a baby blanket, for a, um, a lab blanket, for a single blanket, for a double blanket, for a king size blanket. And that's very useful information because the pattern is always the same, but you can choose which blanket you want. And probably I it was better when I made a ba baby blanket. So I uh, uh, it wouldn't cost me so, so much time and so much yarn and I can add it to my present stash when there will be a baby in my uh, uh, 
in my in my life no not in my life <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> when i when a friend or a family uh, got a baby i could give it but no no i uh did go for the uh single blanket uh so it's yeah i don't know if i will keep it myself because it is still acrylic it is nice the yarn works pretty good but acrylic is not full it does feel different but it's just my personal thing um, but I love to make this. Um, I do not work on it right now. It's waiting. Um, but uh, when my other granny square blanket is finished, I will definitely enjoy crocheting on this blanket. So, harbor blankets. Love it. Okay, next one will be a knitting blanket again. Knit crochet, knit crochet. Um, this one is in a lovely project bag from a local yarn shop here, uh, Wol Atelier Tilburg. And um, I love the sheep. It's so sweet. It does have yarn balls all over and a hard nose. <laughs> love it. Um, this one is my, let's see, the coziest memory blanket, uh, patterned by Kemper Ray. And it's uh, quite a famous pattern as well. Um, I started this in December 2020 and didn't work uh, at it at all, much at all because I never make time for it. But I really, really, really love it. Um, this is actually not my memory blanket because my Northeast is my memory blanket and I, I don't have... Uh, parts of, of all the yarn left um, uh, because some, sometimes you have very very tiny uh, um, uh, yarn balls and they are all in my northeastly so here I just in this blanket I just add everything it's um, yeah uh, I do have a big uh, <laughs> it reminds me of a cuckoo uh, bird uh, is, that, is that good English uh, you have the cuckoo cuckoo you have to, and the and the baby, the cuckoo baby. I don't know if it's uh, it's right, but um, the mom of the the cuckoo mom uh, uh, puts her egg in another nest uh, from a, 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 a tinier bird, and then the cuckoo <laughs> cuckoo bird bird uh, the cuckoo young is very big and it doesn't fit to the and it eats very much. Now that's not a problem with this square, but it feels it's actually too big <laughs> for my blanket, but it will be okay when I add a border to it when it's ready. So, um, yeah, I uh, uh, in two weeks we go camping. We have a vacation, uh, holidays here, and uh, we have a very old uh, caravan and um, uh, we will camping and I guess this is all full of yarn, uh, sock yarn and all these. I guess this will be, I will take this with me. This will be a nice work when we are on holiday. On holiday, when we are on, on our camping trip, I guess. Okay, um, last one. I have shown this one in an English episode already, but it's growing. It's my granny square blanket. I have to organize a bit because there's a lot in my yarn basket. And I will show you every step of my granny square blanket process. Okay, let's go. Also gifted from Long Yarns uh, for uh, the pictures. Um, were uh, uh, quite a few balls long yarn Frida uh, and 100% merino uh, DK weight yarn and um, I had all the colors I don't know how much exactly but I had them all and I started a granny stripe blanket with it but um, doesn't work out uh, as I wished as I hoped for so I ripped that out and made granny squares I made all the granny squares five rows um, and uh, I use a crochet needle four millimeters and uh, I made 83 of these granny squares. These three, <laughs> I don't have, I have a place for them. Maybe I will add them uh, to a, a present or so. I don't know, or uh, yeah, well, we shall see. But five rows of Lange and Frida. And then I put them together. Uh, I, I made um, big squares take a nice color 
big squares of the four. I put four squares together and I um, try to um, uh, put light ones against the dark ones, pink ones against green ones, because all the colors were dif different. I add another row in a, a plain color and I crochet them together as you go. And I told you in my last episode about the join to make a straight line. Um, and all uh, I struggled with the UK and um, uh, and the English uh, crochet terms, but I guess it's a double crochet. And then I crochet two double crochets together and another double crochet, because when you make three and three double crochets in uh, in uh, in both uh, gaps, it will be a uh, bulpy and another straight line. So that works out pretty good. Um, and when I, uh, 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 I guess I had 20 big squares, I put them together on the floor and I rearranged them and uh, for the colors and there are so much color, but it was important to me uh, to um, uh, make a light one next to a dark one and not two colors, the same colors together. So when I did that, I crochet another round, another two rounds, I guess. Uh, I crochet another round on the square and then on every square and I crochet them together as you go. I love as you go, as I said, together as you go. And uh, then I had a row of four big squares and 16 uh, little squares. And when I, uh, did, I did this this morning and when I, uh, I will add another row and make here, here you can see, this is why I uh, um, do this. What I just told, <laughs> I make another round and then I also have the next step. It's big, getting bigger and bigger. Then I add another round and I crochet them, crochet them together as you go again. So I have to stand up because this is too big. And then I have a big the big blanket oh do you see all the colors i love it i love it so much i love it so much so these are eight squares two rows of four and i will add three of these uh three rows of four uh to it so i have a big blanket but uh not uh too big i guess and um yeah i really love it i use um for the last border i use long yarn frida again because i had four i have four three three balls of these and I hope it's enough to uh, for a kind of frame and I, the border has uh, have to be the border has to be in another color I guess but uh, I will use up as much as I have um, from all my uh, DK stash and uh, DK scraps and I really love this colored blanket and I was thinking about giving it away to someone uh, in my uh, some of my, uh, one of my friends friends but uh, i don't think that will happen <laughs> i like it too much i love it too much and i i think it's the perfect blanket for in our car caravan um last last thing i want to show are my magic yarn balls because all the dk scraps i uh, put them together with a magic knot i knot them together and um then uh, this one was so so big i couldn't hold it uh, in a nice way so i make uh, made the second one um and so i uh, uh save all the scraps um and it will be a nice surprise when I will knit or crochet something with these magic yarn balls. I will collect a few, I guess, and I have no plans with it. Uh, but we shall see. <laughs> they are very nice to have. I have no idea what's in this one because, yeah, you can see it. And it's, uh, that's, uh, that's the nice uh, thing of a magic yarn ball. So, okay. My four scrappy blankets and... Um, uh, I hope you, uh, uh, when you love scrappy blankets, you have uh, at least one too. And um, uh, I, I can only say scrappy blankets, making blankets makes me so, so happy. It's just so nice to make a blanket. Uh, we already have uh, a lot of blankets in our house. Um, 
uh, we all sleeping under crochet blankets uh, on our couch uh, couch uh, we have several uh, mainly crochet blankets i guess yes i don't have uh, we don't have uh, knitted blankets yet but they are coming they're coming and um it's just uh, we are under the blankets all the time when we are in the evening when it's cold and a blanket is such a uh, a, a nice and warm feeling gives it, but it all, it's also add a kind of personality to your living room or to your uh, uh, to your bed and all the colors. And uh, I love to make blankets in uh, colors. <laughs> I guess it's quite boring when you make a blanket in one color, but that's personal. Maybe you love it. I have, I do have, I can show. I do have a lovely blanket. I didn't show this in the Dutch episode, but I do have a lovely blanket on our bed in one color. It's also a crochet blanket. And uh, this one is made by my mother because I, <laughs> I don't think I um, uh, would have loved to make uh, all uh, in white cotton, but uh, all the patterns are different. And this, this was also a crochet along. In Dutch, I guess, the Nostalgica Crochet Along. I don't know exactly, but uh, um, I guess it was uh, that name a few years ago. And uh, it was a gift for my birthday and I really love it. It's uh, it's all white cotton and it's the perfect. Uh, we have uh, brown sheets, dark brown sheets, and this blanket on it is uh, is lovely. And uh, it also... So I, I, I will be... <laughs> Uh, all white blankets, all blankets, the bl blankets in all one color do make me happy too. But I don't love to make them. Okay, so I want to thank you very much for all the lovely words and all the lovely views. Um, uh, I will go on knitting and crochet and see you next week. I will. Uh, I hope you have a very nice week with um, a lot of knitting and crochet time. And Monday. No, no, it's Easter next Monday. I don't know. Somewhere next week you will see a new, new episode on my YouTube channel. Okay, bye bye!